Hi guys, my name is Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to start a fire with uh, flint and steel. Now I've done a couple videos in the past about uh, how to make a tinder bundle and how to pick out your strikers. I'm also going to be doing some other ones on how to pick stones and how to make charred material. This is just going to be a big playlist of uh, kind of the different parts of it. But this is how to light the flint steel fire. Now. There are two schools of thought with uh, striking a flint and steel. One of them is my personal favorite, which is the one where you hold the stone, you have the thing, and you, and you just strike straight down. And you do it in, in full strokes. Personally, I like keeping the stone at a slight angle. I find that develops more sparks. The other one is where you hold the uh, striker in the less dominant hand and what you'll do is you take the stone and you have your charred material down here and you just do this and you strike downward into uh, your charred material. Whatever method you choose, that's up to you. Now this is how I do it. So what I do is then I take charred material and I stick it on top of the stone. Um, we'll go into stones later. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll kind of fluff up part of it so it has a place to catch. And then pretty much what you do is, again, you turn it at an angle. You make sure that that's just off the edge so if any sparks go, they'll catch into here. So then what you do is you I hold the C ring, if I'm using a C ring one, I use it like I'll use a rat tail, which is I kind of hold it like this. I'll hold, I'll put my fingers here, at the top, I'll grab down here with my other fingers, and I have it here. Some people like doing it this way, that can be dangerous, or they'll hold it like this, that can be dangerous if you miss, it can go into your knuckles, that can be bloody. I find I have more control if I hold it like this, and I hold down here. What I then do, is I strike. And I, I find with flint steels, it's either going to be one or two strikes or 20 strikes. Rarely in, any in between. But there we go. As I said, one or two strikes. And it instantly catches. Let's... So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you over to the tinder bundle and I'll show you how to blow it to flame. After you've kind of let it. Um, smolder for a little bit. Sometimes it's good to do that. It will start to heat up. So what you then do, remove it from here, and you add it within to your tinder bundle. Since this is kind of, sometimes then you kind of poke it into there. And then, let's see, then what you want to do is fold your tinder bundle, your bird's nest into it. And often, what you want to do is you want to blow up into it. Oh, and it, in, because of how I set it up, it instantly went into flame. And that is what is good about a proper tinder bundle, is it didn't give me enough time to film me uh, blowing into the flame. Because with the heat, with the upwards heat, it instantly combusted, which is good. That is what you want in your tinder bottle, is you want it to pretty much instantly catch flame if you build it properly. Now, your methods at doing this may be different. This is my preferred method and <laughs> it, it's shown to work. Now I'm gonna let this burn out and that is pretty much, my name is Nate. I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. That's pretty much how to start a fire with flint and steel. Um, please remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, that does help me out with my videos. And you have a good day.